this is a preparatory clip to my next one. What you may want to do is to decide as to whether your family may want to view this, your children. Oh, we have motorcycles going here. Most of them are lawyers on their Harley Davidsons. All right, there they go. All right, back to the clip. Um, what you're going to see in the next clip is not only atrocious, but it is disgraceful and it is an evil stain on the United States of America. I don't think there has been anything as bad since the time of slavery. Because in sense, it was a form of slavery that was perpetrated by the United States military, Air Force personnel, and I mean the upper ranks, in terms of, here we go again with that wonderful excuse they always love to give, national security. I'm going to be following the teachings of Mr. Redfin. I will speak more about him. I will have links to his platform and information. But this is a stain on American history. As you know, or may know, after World War II, the United States, in order to further our space program, we imported the Nazi scientists in an operation called Operation Paperclip. Our secret military base, especially where the Enola Gay was based out of that bombed uh, Japan with atomic bombs, was in New Mexico near Roswell. The first thing I want to point out is that there was no UFO crash in Roswell. It actually crashed in Corona. That will be explained. You can also look that up. Um, I think all of the UFO stuff in Roswell should be shut down because this, once this breaks, this is going to be bad. And you're going to hear it here. There are other documentaries, very few, very few YouTube clips that speak of this. But... The United States military used mentally disabled people as test subjects in aircraft in which most of them crashed. I'm sorry to say that. I was going to hold the clip. Again, it is a disgrace and it is a stain on American history. Anyway... <clears throat> We will see you in the next clip.